What's up guys, Jill Snow right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss a little bit about the one year certificate IPA for Yellow Jailbreak. Uh, it was created or up uploaded on the uh, Dropbox a couple of hours ago. And here's where the problem starts. Now, this pretends to be a Yellow Jailbreak IPA signed for one year so that you don't need to re-sign it every seven days with um, CDI Impactor. Now, everything is good up until here, but there is a problem with this IPA. It's coming from nowhere and it doesn't have any open source for it. So it's not linked on GitHub. It, it's not transparent. You cannot see any code of it. It can contain anything. And look at Tedesco has been extremely concerned on this IPA lately. And in the last uh, hour, he made a couple of tweets in here saying that the IPA is definitely not recommended to be installed and it's definitely malware. Now, uh, the problem with this IPA, as I said, is that it modifies a couple of things inside. I uh, already took the binary from here, let me show you, and I extracted both of them. So this is the official uh, yellow jailbreak IPA that has to be resigned every seven days. And this is the pretended to be one year certificate thing. Now the one year certificate does exist inside the IPA and it is signed, but don't take it for granted, even if it's not infected with a malware, we don't know for sure yet, but it's pretended to be. So even if it's not, Apple will still find it, Apple will still kill the certificate after three days or so, and it will still make the IPA no longer to work. Even if you install it, it will still not open after Apple patched the certificate. So do not fall for it. Now what I detected is that um, if you open terminal and write SAJ sum, I'm going to go into the payload of the original uh, Yalu app and take the binary. See, the binary is here. I take it and it has this um, hash. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the modified thing, the um, signed thing in here. And as you can see, it has a different hash. Now, this doesn't mean it's definitely malware. It's not, of course, meaning that, but it means there were some modifications that were added to this IPA. And if it's not open source, it means we cannot see which are those modifications. Let me explain a little bit why Look at the Desco is so fucking um, concerned about this IPA. See, on a normal IPA, you cannot make a virus or at least not a very strong malware for iOS because iOS has a lot of uh, encryptions, has a lot of code signing things and uh, the AMFEI won't start a modified thing anyway. So if any kind of malware tries to interact with your device and change files, it will be blocked by the device itself. But this is not a normal IPA. This is a jailbreak itself. And um, the jailbreak has a flow, an inherited flow. See, I'm going to show you on the original project and all the uh, projects related to Yalu 102 have the same thing. If you go here on Yalu, you can see that there is a bootstrap.tar file containing parts of the jailbreak itself. This bootstrap.tar is nothing but an archive and this archive can contain anything you want. For example, if I create a malware and I put it insta inside this bootstrap.tar, and then I compile the IPA and upload it, when you run it, you will not know what's running. The malware will start in the background, you have no idea what started, and I can collect passwords, I can collect whatever you do on the device, depending on what the malware is. It can be anything. Uh, now, jailbreaks or rootkits, like uh, look at the disco calls them, are very powerful, and uh, if someone really wants to do something to you, they can using this method. It's very, very easy to backdoor on this IPAs because the user will run it. The bootstrap.tar can be infected with anything you want. So uh, basically the bootstrap.tar contains a couple of executables that are running when your jailbreak is running. For example, bash, tar, dpkg, or anything related. If I, for example, uh, modify dpkg, or I install anything else in there that is uh, containing a malware, you will run that malware without even knowing. Now, usually a malware is not saying, hello, I'm here, <laughs> I infected your device. No, uh, it will simply run in the background and do its stuff, collect its data or whatever it's programmed to do without you even knowing it's present. But 
Some people told me on Twitter that they installed this Yalu one year thing and they started to get strange pop-ups, strange uh, redirects, uh, app store starts by itself and things like this. I don't know if this is the uh, the effect of the IPA itself or if they installed some some shady tweak from anything else, but I think you should avoid it. Look at Adesco himself, the author of the... Um, Yalu jailbreak say that it's not safe and it's obviously something that shouldn't be installed. And uh, what scares me the most is the fact that it's not open source, which means that the author has something to hide. If it if it wouldn't have something to hide, then the uh, IPA would be in an open source like I did with my fork of Yalu, uh, which if you, for example, you don't trust my Yalu jailbreak IPA fork and you want to compile it yourself, you can go ahead here on my uh, GitHub, download the code, look at the code, analyze it, see what it does, see what it's installing, and then if you want, you, com you compile it and run it from there. But in that case, in the case of the uh, this IPA, it's uploaded on Dropbox, and that's it. You don't have anything to look at. You, you either run it or not. So uh, this is a problem. Now, this might or might not be a malware, as look at the disco said, but the simple fact that it's tampered with can have very bad, um, very bad effect on your device. So uh, try not to get it. I'm going to quote. Look at this going here. You gotta be extremely careless, careless to fuck over your subscribers with highly likely to be malware, sketchy IPAs with modified resources. End quote. This is something addressed to Dino Zambas, another YouTuber who uh, allegedly made a video promoting that IPA. Now, for granted, some people use the IPA and it really works. I said it has that certificate, but the certificate will be revoked and you don't know what's inside it and that's a problem. So I really hope you will stay, you will stay safe. I think Sorik is working on, um, on a version of CDI Impactor for mobile from what I heard. So it will put an end to that 7 days uh, resigning thing. So just be more patient and do not uh, fall into these traps. Yeah, this is basically it. As I said, I hope you will stay safe. Tell me in the comment section down below if you already used this IPA so that I can, I can show you how to remove it or how to verify if you have any kind of malware or if anything was modified on your system. And uh, till the next time, peace out.